Why are you forcing me to do this? <laughs> G'day, I'm Evan, and welcome to Gaming Gaming Game. Joining me on the show this week, it's Naomi Higgins. Come on. And Ben Russell. My name's Ben Russell. <laughs> Rhythm's all off. I do not want your claps. Okay. okay. I don't even want an invite to the party. Busy that night. Uh, it's already a bit of a weird vibe. Um, <laughs> um, Disagree. <laughs> you know what, Evan? You're a weird vibe, dude. Well, that's you know not going to help, is it? Vibe about you. Um, you know what this already feels like? What? I'm at a party and I'm stuck standing next to two people. <laughs> and I'm like, I wonder if there's a better conversation going on. But I feel anchored here for some reason. Yeah, well, while you're thinking about that, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> you looking over the shoulder? You what does that leave me? Huh? Yeah. What does that leave me? Yeah, just oblivious. Totally. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, it's not just us. I want to welcome our new patrons who signed up uh, since our last episode. They're here nice. in spirit. Um, <laughs> it's also our guest for tonight. <laughs> uh, this uh, cheese, Philadelphia cheese, uh, with chili dip. That might not even be on camera. With corn right chips. Now. We, can't, we, don't, we can't even get a close up because it's we're, we don't have any camera operators. It's you know what? Room. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna video, <laughs> and then it's like another. We'll cut to that. All right, we'll cut to that. All right. All right. Sorry. So you can do whatever you're gonna to say. No, you just do a clean of that. Yeah, but I'm gonna zoom in like Beck does. Okay. We'll start. Oh, okay. And uh, this is our guest, Philadelphia cream cheese. That is good. I should be a director. <laughs> At the very least, I should be a cinematographer. Okay, since our last episode, which, by the way, was like seven or eight weeks ago, right? So there's, 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 there's more people than there would normally be just by it's a longer period of time. Um, but also, it's great to have so many people uh, who have signed up. Um, Jessica Carson. Oh, Clarkson? patrons. Yeah, patrons, weird, sorry. Good way of saying that one. <laughs> Almost completely indecipherable. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what he's saying is that there are more Patreons than usual because we've had a bigger break. Yeah, in terms of normally it would just be a week between episodes and you get a yeah. few people to so sign up. So we didn't up. know you were talking about the Patrons. I'm sorry. We just heard there's more people. <laughs> All right, okay. Because we weren't here. Okay. <laughs> more people because we weren't here? How does that work? That's, that's true. Weird. The we... population does grow over time. That's true. Well, there. I think something has been taken a good hack at it lately. <laughs> Anyway, we want to welcome our new patrons. Jessica Klassen, Muslim Sanchez, <laughs> um, <laughs> Callum Grossberg, uh, Billy Lem Lemur, uh, Jenik Rausch, pop culture reference, Raisin Ravenholm tourist. You don't be a tourist in Ravenholm. No, you don't. You'll die. You don't go there. Where's that? It's in Half-Life 2. Oh. Um, yeah, if you're a real gamer, you'd probably get that. <laughs> Ross Carnegie, uh, Thomas Kinoonan? Ah, Kinoonan. Uh, this is Lou Piro's wife. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Socialist crab rat union movement, scum in brackets. God Chris bless. Howell, Brad H, Joseph Taylor, <laughs> Shitwind, Robin Davidson, uh, Hedge Hodge, Jacob Stevenson, Blonde Matthew, uh, The Gilded Cloud, Blake Hanneken, DMC, <laughs> D, D McSqueezy, Austin Davis, Eli Fisher, Mark, Lisa Yeo, James Garden, Francis Byrne, and Greg Larson's tight, sexy ass. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you started laughing? Uh, no, no, He's getting no. ahead of it. But that's funny. That's, that's funny. Good that's funny shit. It's good. It's a good bit. And look. Uh, thank, you, thank you so much, Greg Larson's tiny, tight, sexy asshole. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Greg's. Uh, tight Sexy Asshole is actually in hotel quarantine right now, so he could be watching. Right. He could be watching. Wow. We have Buttery Andrews in the chat. I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Greg Larson's Tight Sexy Asshole. Shout out. Shout out, um, to, shout out to you. Thanks so much for your support. <laughs> I know that you have been supporting Greg for a long time now. <laughs> <laughs> and we thank you for extending that support to us. Yeah, thank you for extending so that. We are big fans of Greg ourselves, right, Evan? Yeah, and I love yes. his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks so much. So many people um, who, who've signed up since the last so episode. Lovely. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, 
They got that nine to five guilt, which you should have. Nine to five guilt. Because <laughs> they have like normal day jobs. Right. And they want to support the arts. And they feel guilty about their jobs. They feel guilty that we don't have jobs. Oh, I do have a job. They feel guilty that Ben and I don't have jobs. <laughs> I have a couple of just little things that I got going on, you know, a couple of little scams. <laughs> you got some scams? I got a bunch of little scams. Hell yeah, on. brother. Yeah, like uh, I got this one where I call up old ladies and I say, hey, the cops are going to come and arrest you. <laughs> Give me iTunes gift cards. <laughs> and they do it. Really? Yeah. Wow. And then what do you do with those? Uh, just uh, buy great tracks. <laughs> Um, you got to support the arts. Yeah. <laughs> he's, yeah. got, he's got that um, iTunes gift card guilt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Support artists. <laughs> um, Buy some apps. <laughs> <laughs> Who's uh, looking out for the app developers? Can someone look out for the app developers, please? Not Scott Morrison, tell you that much for free. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it is a uh, slightly weird situation at the moment. Um, so just by way of explanation... We, uh, throughout this whole pandemic, we've been the most locked down city in the world and we are still in lockdown at the moment. Um, shops are closed, masks are mandatory everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, apart from right here and right Apart from right here because we're on camera. There's a 9pm curfew again. Not us because right, we're on camera. Yeah. Um, if you have a camera that is on and pointing at you, none of these rules apply, by the way. Uh, that's not true. Um, there are some situations where it's okay not to wear a mask, but generally speaking, mandatory everywhere. Uh, COVID cases are actually at an all-time high. Woo! Uh, the government just tweaked the rules to allow broadcasts with up to five people in attendance. Um, so we're doing a stripped-down version of the show uh, with just two people running the show upstairs. So normally we would have normally we would have two two extra people. And all three of these fine what fine specimens that you see before you are we're all fully vaxxed. We're, oh, we are fully vaxxed. Oh, man. Um, and Rock and roll. So we have, there's no one else in the studio with us. We have uh, Em and Becca running the show upstairs. Um, and that's, 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 what's, that's what's going on. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, we do also have the Philadelphia cream cheese. Yeah, Philadelphia cream that, uh, cheese. Uh, that Naomi vaxxed? was eating it. It doesn't count as a person. I did try it. I tried it too. But that's it. That's who, that, that's, that's it. Um, we are streaming the taping of the show live on Twitch. You can join us over there for a chat. I'm going to look at how all this comes together at twitch.tv slash gamey gamey show. Spoiler alert, it, it's not, it's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great. It's going yeah. fine and it's very enjoyable. We have it's to fun. Say. We, yeah, it's it fun. It's fun. It's a fun time. I'm having a Josh. <laughs> Ben's hating this. What? Who's Josh? Uh, to Josh is to, you know, muck around. Be facetious, I guess. Uh, you razzin? Yeah, so I'm just razzin. Just say that. Well, just say raz next time. Sorry if I have a, uh, you know, a, a wide and... Did you, did you think, did you not, you weren't able to think of a word that meant big? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I've got a wide vocabulary. <laughs> I was actually going to say lexicon. <laughs> Oh, I shut my pants. <laughs> uh, um, is he joking? No. I have. Someone please call the cops. <laughs> I believe that's who you call Why would that? Okay. when you shit your pants. Not the ambulance. Look. Not the fire department, the cops. <laughs> because you're a criminal. <laughs> I agree. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. If shitting your pants is cr a crime. <laughs> Then please lock me up. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we did it again. <laughs> this week, we're going to take police. a look. <laughs> this I week. did it again. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> take this seriously, Ben. I will take a shit in my pants every week until you have caught me. <laughs> oh, funny. Serial killer, except instead of serial killer... Serial shit in pants are. It's kind of scary. How do we get back to this again? Last It was only last episode we were talking yeah. about. Yeah. Can you not? I haven't had a lot of things going on right now. It's not <laughs> like a lot I'm, of shitting in your pants. <laughs> I've just been sitting at home. Hey, write what you know, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. It's funny. <laughs> Grow up, Evan. Grow up. You love, you love a bit of potty humor. 
a bit of lewdness. No. Blue. No. Yeah, you do. I've seen your your little the curls of your mouth. <laughs> you know, just oh, twitch up. No. Twitch up and twitch out. No. Yes. Class it yes, up, then. Evan. Don't you know it's September? Don't you know it's September? This week we're going to take a look at Death Loop. But first, what do you think of this? Um, if you're a hardcore gamer, you might have experienced the all too common problem of hot fingers. Well, Razer has what? your back. They've launched what they're calling the Razer Gaming Finger Sleeves, made of sweat absorbent fabric to oh, keep those fingers on. cool when gaming on the go. Um, there they are there. No. No? No, absolutely not. Is this for uh, mobile gamers? That's right, yeah. You got a nail on the head there. That's fucked. Mobile gamers. Yeah, so this gamers. is for gaming on your mobile yes. or your tablet. Mm -hmm. You pop these bad boys on <clears throat> and uh, that, you'll, you'll be safe. You'll be safe. I don't understand. According to Razer, the conductive fiber enhances touch sensitivity while reducing friction. They're made from nylon and That's spandex, right. allowing them to stretch to fit even the biggest of fingers. It enhances <laughs> conductivity more by putting something in between your fingers and the screen. Yeah. Wow. It answers it even more. Yes. When you put a middleman in there, it makes it, it gives it less resistance. Uh, yeah. on, what, on what level is this happening right now? In my mind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what the fuck? What do you mean? Like what, wh whose fingers are getting hot? Uh, well, I, look. Your fingers get hot? I've, I've never even. <laughs> Thought about my fingers getting hot, let alone noticed that my fingers have ever been hot in their lives. <laughs> I um, I, I it hasn't. It, I, I've never had a. Uh, are you okay? I'm. I. Every way I move, I sink further into the chair because of the mic cord, and I can't get back up. <laughs> I've um. I'm not joking. <laughs> need a hand. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, I'll do it myself. You're bloody first if you were joking. <laughs> you just laughed. <laughs> you just laughed? Yeah. I'm stuck under the desk and you're laughing? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Fucking that funny. hell. That's, funny. that's not only just funny to us, that's fun for the whole family. <laughs> okay? There's nothing rude or lewd or blue or crude. Um, Sorry, who's getting hot hands? I can, yeah. I, so I'm, I haven't, a, I'm a victim of cold hands, warm heart. Yeah, I could be a doctor. What? Because I got cold hands. We both uh, have cold hands. Mm. Mm. Do you have cold hands? No, I don't, I don't think so, typically. Do you have hot fingers? They look like oh. hot little, little potatoes. I don't think. <laughs> potatoes? I have it. Little fingerlings. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> I don't, I don't personally do hot it. little weenies. <laughs> you put some butter on them. <laughs> <laughs> Come on up. Hot little carbs. <laughs> <laughs> I. You. I'm gonna start calling fingers cobs. Cobs. Like corn on the cob. Don't. You want a cob? I. Don't do Here's it. one. <laughs> <laughs> I have not had this problem, but I'm not really a um a big. You've mobile. had this problem. No, I've not had this problem. Don't say you're not a mobile gamer, because. We know that's a lie. All right. Cookie clicker. No, well, no, how many you, clicks you could get with the cookie with this? You raise a good point. The increase. I, I raise her the in, a good point. Increased with, uh, <laughs> the conductivity, of the silver fiber. Oh my um, God, you'd get so many clicks. This would be great for a cookie clicker. One for each thumb. Just so wait, it yes. does increase conductivity between your finger and the phone? Apparently, that's what it says. When and are I your hands getting it. hot? Is it when it's hot outside? Maybe. Or is also, it that you know, you're gaming so much that your fingers are getting hot? It could be that. I mean, you know, you've got that your... is what is happening, I would suggest putting the game down because that's your body giving you a sign to stop. Mm, okay. What if you don't want to stop? What if you just want to keep on gaming? You're playing then, PUBG Mobile and you're about to get a chicken dinner. You're not just going to stop with your sweaty... <laughs> Did Tassa just piss? Did he? <laughs> We're understaffed, it's Tarzo. <laughs> it's all right. I'll clean it up after this bit. Mm. We're just going to sit here with piss in the room? Yeah. It's mostly on the ottoman, so that's not going to come off anyway. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fun. 
<laughs> I thought it was like a, an amp. So I'm very happy that it's just a... It's just furniture. It's just furniture. Um, what were we saying? Fingers? Before you made a big deal of that. Um, <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't need this. Mm. Oh, you don't. Break. Just call your mother. You don't need this. Nobody needs this. No, it's, it's just to enhance the experience, right? I guess so. But Do you have big fingers? I got little chipolatas. But they're, but they're girthy, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is actually more important depending on who you ask. Yeah, that's right. Who do you gaming. ask? Gamers. Right. Razor. I got uh, little angry hands. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> angry little hands. <laughs> angry little. If you're sitting there. I'm and you're angry too, but not like a bear, like a spider. Oh, a spider cold anger. Yeah. Yeah. Cold spindly anger. Yeah, I'm more like a like a skunk. <laughs> <laughs> Stinky hands. <laughs> Stinky fingers. Okay. So, um you're playing a game. You... Do they do anything for stink? I don't think so. Unless do they do it's anything for pink. <laughs> <laughs> Now then I'd be interested. <laughs> 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 Bloody hell. You can't say that on television, I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, um, look, I, I can see this being a useful product if, if you have sweaty fingers and you're trying to play video games on your phone. This is stupid. Okay. This is I, late capitalism and nothing else. I do they know someone. What else can we slap a logo on? I know someone who's a very nice person who has the, a sweaty hand. They sweat through their hands. Uh huh. They're a big hand sweater. It's a common They're thing. Very open about it. Chill. It's what it is. They they could use this. Wouldn't they just wear gloves? Possibly. Because this is going so far out of its way to say I'm a gamer. They already sell gloves that you can buy yeah. mm. that, that are conductive or whatever. Yeah, I have some of those. Of course you do. What's that yeah, supposed to be? You're very right. How it, else would you handle your seven phones that you have all at the same time for some reason? Not, your hands would get too hot. <laughs> <laughs> the only time I ever wore them was when, when it was winter in America and it was so cold and I needed something... Exactly well, don't my even point. wear them in Australia. That's too warm here. Exactly my point. What's your point again? Um, <laughs> but these are tight. Like these are skin tight, so you don't, you have the dexterity. <clears throat> yes. You know what I mean? Unlike gloves, where you can get it. it some gloves have, are too thick. Could, no, but you could have that in a glove. I'm sure that kind of glove already exists for people with sweaty hands. Or get these and then get those fingerless gloves. Why would you want fingerless gloves? So that you can use those as the tips. But then your hand is still be hot. Yeah, then you just bought gloves for no reason. Yeah, but your fingers won't be sweaty. Well, they won't be either way. I'm on board with this. <laughs> I'm going to get me some. In fact, Evan? Yes. I'm going to buy you a pair of these bad boys. <laughs> really? Yeah. Thank you. That's nice of you. I'm going to buy you a Are pair. Are you going to buy me a pair? No. Although... You've been very you're, down on these. You're, you're probably a... You're actually the biggest mobile gamer here. You love Candy Crush. Not Candy Crush. Which one? Design it. The one with the heels? With the, the, with the heels, that's right, sorry. Yeah, high heel game. Yeah. High heel well, game. I actually do play a lot of games on my phone. Yeah. But nice. it's more of just like something to do with my hands. Right yeah, now yeah. I'm switching between Sudoku and Solitaire. Okay, well neither of those are very like sweaty games. Oh, I, I, work, up, I work up quite a sweat. <laughs> So you could use this. Where does the two go? Sudoku and <laughs> solitaire. It's always interesting. I think you've got a hidden boomer in you. Boomer? <laughs> yeah. It's true. you got a real, you got a hidden boomer energy in there. I don't think so. Yeah. It's just a simple game that has numbers. I reckon you do. You. If anything, I think it's a hidden autist. <laughs> 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 Not so hidden lately. <laughs> Let it shine. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I think I won't buy these. Um, wow. Because, sure. because you'll buy them for me. Yeah, that's right. I'm uh, going to buy some for you. Surely you don't need more than one pair of these. Do you reckon you need more than one pair of these? Uh, well, you need two pairs. They're hand washable, by the way. So if you, you'd, maybe you get two so that you can, you know. You need two, two pairs. Hand washable, wow. pair for each hand. 
What? Because the... That's I, a pair. I, no, I, th okay. That's a I, pair. I think it, maybe it's a quad is Probably what you comes buy. You need a quad. I think maybe it comes with four. I'm not sure. Nice. For ten dollars, maybe ten US dollars. I think maybe you get four. I um. This is this is what I hate about the world. This is just creating. Really, this. There are Nazis. No, no, no. And... This. Yes, just this. <laughs> No, just the fact that people make shit just in order to make money when there is no real need for it so that we can put more shit in the ocean and we all die. And that's how I feel. Don't need it. Everybody's going to die. Not all at once, though. <laughs> um, maybe we should move on. <laughs> Why? <laughs> is it every time it's the same conversation <laughs> why this is so good there wasn't a lot of substance here to begin with um, remember when Tazo pissed I gotta go clean that up now don't I uh, yes. after this next little Evan what are you gonna do what's the first thing you're gonna do when you get these in the mail I think I'll do some mobile gaming what are you gonna play cookie clicker obviously yeah what, else? Um, what if the, what if the phone nine. falls out of your hand why? Because they're so frictionless. Yeah, because they're so smooth. Well, no, it says, keep your fingers deadly cool in the heat of a battle so you'll always have a grip on the game. Why do they have to talk in it a seems way like that makes me want to bully someone? <laughs> <laughs> I, that's mixed messaging to me. Um, what, about your, what about your Nintendo Switch? What, what about, about it? it? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so just... <laughs> no, Evan. I have not run into this problem. I understand there are some people with medically sweaty hands. For them, I'm sure there are better solutions out there. For people who have just gamed too much and their fingers are hot, stop it. Yeah. Go to bed. Get up early in the morning. Go outside. Touch grass. Maybe then your hands won't be so hot and sweaty. Mm. And that's my opinion. And it's not going to change. Okay. Good luck. All right. No, that's fine. It's a valid opinion. The gauntlet has been thrown down. Let us know how, what <laughs> you think you'd do to change <laughs> Naomi's mind in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks very much. <laughs> it's September. Deathloop. We hate you. Oh, no. It's gone now. <laughs> 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 well, You've got to keep that. What a, <laughs> what a chaotic show. It already is. It's barely started. We're I'm barely sorry. Started. No, 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 it's fine. I was not mentally prepared to see you. <laughs> I'm feeling that from you. I was really just in a little hole. There's a hostile energy coming from you. And I feel <laughs> like it's one that you would usually direct at yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sick of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Deathloop is a highly anticipated new shooter that manages to stand out in a crowded genre thanks to its retro style and unique mechanics. It's a time loop full of mystery and puzzles, but does all the looping get a bit repetitive? Let's take a look at the trailer. This whole island's like a broken record. Skipping endlessly on one fulfilling day. Everybody chose to be here, Colt. Blood on the mind, life on ice, call it paradise. Nobody's gonna thank you for destroying paradise. Looking for a sign on the mind, on a cycle time. Then it's on me to end it for all of us. the beach come on Tomorrow never comes if you can pay the price to don't pay. hide your true self Huh? 
idea what's out there. Sure I do. Freedom. We're never getting out of here. Uh, well, that was a look at the trailer for Deathloop. Evan. Yes? You've played this game. Yes, and I would describe this game as a, a game that I like. Roguelike. Say it. Say the line, Bart. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun game. Yay! <laughs> It is a fun game. I have to agree with you on this, Evan. This <laughs> is a fun game, despite the fact that there are no dogs to shoot. Oh, you're right. Oh. I didn't even notice that. Mm. Wow. You can, That's however, how much fun you're having. stab people in the chest and throat as well as cut their heads off. Yes, I did notice that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This, uh, I, look, I, I think probably first, first, first off, we should talk about what this game what it is. is. What it is. Tell is the it? nice people in the computer. Okay, <laughs> that's you. Um, I, uh, yeah, so this is, uh, because a lot of, you know, you would look at it and just go, well, this is it's just another first person shooter, which it is, and it is a good first person shooter. Mm. And that's a, a great starting point um, because you can have Not all the, well, what's better than being a bad first person shooter, right? <laughs> Surely, if you're going to be playing a shooter, you'd be want to you'd want to play a good one, right? He's got you there on that logic. So suck. I'm a contrarian. <laughs> okay. So whatever you say, I think the opposite. <laughs> um, I just mean a first person, a good first person shooter wouldn't draw me in on its own. Mm. Right, but but it's a great great basis to then build what is. Uh, uh, well, an interesting, uh, like I said in the intro, it's it's a it's a, a a mystery. There's a lot of mystery going on. It's it's a, even the whole structure of the game is somewhat of a puzzle. You don't really know when you start it, or at least when I started the game, I hadn't. I d kind of deliberately avoided reading kind of about it. Oh, I understood it. everything straight. I didn't read anything, but I understood right. what was happening immediately. Okay, great. So I guess I'm just smarter than you. Okay, I mean I okay, I um. I'm just joking. Okay. <laughs> Why have you become so sad? <laughs> it's <laughs> so uh, you, you sort of you, you wake up. You play this guy named Colt. Uh, you wake up on a beach, uh, and you you know you grab your weapons. Sounds lovely. Tutorial. It is. It's beautiful. Uh, but it's, oh, I'm so bad at explaining things. <laughs> And it's, okay, it's, you wake up, you don't know who you are. Some chick's mad at you, but what's new, am I right? Boys! Not wrong. You get a little radio thing, you start shooting, you're confused, you die, but then you come back, but then you're there, and he's like, ah! Yeah. Uh, it is a... <laughs> Do you ever go back? Yes. So, <laughs> it's a stealth... Uh, shooter, yes. well, puzzle time. Maybe for you. <laughs> game. So you have four biomes, I suppose, and you have four times. You have morning, noon, afternoon, and evening. And your goal is to kill all of the big, all the bosses in one day, which is one loop. Yes, Naomi. At the end of that loop, everything resets. Naomi, Ugh. question. What is a roguelike and is this a roguelike? No, this is not a roguelike. What is a, uh, a hoe? A hoe is a gardening tool. Cool, to sorry, those are the two things I needed cleared up. Um, right. I like this game, twist, huge twist. Mm. Wow. Even this the combat? Com even I find myself doing combat that I don't even need to do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Fun. It's kind of fun. They're good fodder, these. So the, the, the so yes, Ben's right, there's four these four uh, districts mm -hmm. of Black Reef filled with these um, uh, what are they called? The Eternalists? Or what they are? The, the, these uh, Eternalists is the random people, yeah. Yeah, the random people. They're, they're and sort visionaries of, are the bosses. Yes. So you'll yeah, you'll basically you you'll find yourself killing a lot of the Eternalists. They're basically fodder. Um, but they can out, they can overwhelm you. Oh, for sure. Easily, especially uh, night time at the party. Right. The party? You'll get to it later. Oh, yeah. I think I've been to the party. At Alexis's mansion? Yeah. Oh, I, I found that pretty easy. You killed everybody? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, there you go. 
I just tried to do it stealthily. I found but I, I mean, how I did it was I would walk into the courtyard bit from the gate, shoot a few people, and then if I got overwhelmed, run back out where they just, like, <laughs> wouldn't follow me. Yeah, <laughs> AI could be better. Yeah, um, that is, I guess that is, uh, that is a little con. The AI is dumb as shit. But there's something kind of... I like that. <laughs> Yeah, it is. I think there's something. So kind of fun. am I. <laughs> <laughs> there's something kind of fun about dumb AI in that it's it, it's because it is just you know, they're, they're fodder for you to kill, and so it is kind of just fun to mess with them, yeah. Um, rather than have them outsmart you. Um, but it, it, the, like, yeah, the difficulty is interesting, right? Because I I first there's up, no difficulty selection. Yeah, and I found it pretty. As soon like, as I started, I went, let's just. See if we can change it, <laughs> and then di- and then I crouched, and I'm just like walking so close. I'm walking past these people. I'm like, okay, maybe this isn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. I, they're not noticing I'm in front of them. Mm. It's um, it, well, it can be really easy, but then it can turn really quickly, right? If you it, because you can really quickly get overwhelmed um, if you alert everybody that you're there. Um, if you yeah, sometimes you'll shoot well. someone and you see like 25 like things yeah. pop up, and you're like, fuck. Also, sentries like the turrets and stuff, they'll take you down pretty quick. It's got elements of Hitman in there. Yes, yes, for sure. The fact that you do have, it's a puzzle and there are so many different ways. Like, I've completed the game and I have not done, these things would pop up that I'd be like, oh, that's kind of a hint, like I could do something a different way, get someone to the party a different way or, or, or do different things. So there's multiple pathways that you can go through. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is really interesting, which, uh, which can, you know, lends itself to replayability. And there's yeah. definitely that replayability in this. I mean, the, the whole game is kind of replaying mm. over and over again. So In what way? And because it's a loop. Oh, of course. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> so, 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 yes, there's eight of the visionaries, eight bosses that are only around, uh, they're in specific locations at specific times of day. Um, there are, so there's eight of those. There are four times of day, uh, and the goal to break the loop, uh, you have to kill all eight of them in one day. Which means you have to be pretty clever about how you how you kind of manage your time, manage your day, so that you can actually g- get to them and kill them all in one day. Because if yeah. you if you go somewhere in the morning. Uh, and then you come back, then it will be noon. And then you go somewhere and come yeah. back. It will so time will progress if you were to go somewhere and kill someone. So and things aren't you know available, or things are very different in different periods of time. So. Yes. Much like Outer Wilds. That's right. Right. Because if you go somewhere early in the it's a, loop, mainly when I said that it was what? like Outer Wilds, I'm saying it was very similar to Outer Wilds in terms of the the mission, like it remembers everything. Yeah. Every bit of information and kind of presents it. Doesn't yeah. present you in a as... terribly intuitive way sometimes. Like sometimes no. I was like, where the fuck is this passcode that I remember from like the beginning of the game that Honestly, I Honestly, it took me a while to figure out how to open the thing yeah. with all the tasks in it. <laughs> <laughs> I was Googling it, couldn't figure it out, got there eventually. It's but a it, J. Yes. <laughs> but it does a good job at saving everything you sort of read and interact with and that is, you know, note noteworthy. Mm. But trying to find everything in there can be a bit of a shit fight. There's just, there's a lot of information. There's a, a lot of this game is just uh, uh, going through, playing it through to get the information that you then need to. Yeah. Um, While having fun along the way, of course, sir. Killing a lot of people along um, the way. I, there's added replayability with playing Juliana. Yes. The lady that's trying to kill you. I've been so scared the whole time yeah. that she's going <laughs> to pop up. Because she can really fuck with you even when she's played by AI. She can fuck with your... I've pilot. not met her once. Really? I mean, like, she hasn't popped up to kill me. Well, you no. haven't played it enough. I have played this game for 13 hours. Really? And you haven't? And I've basically just been in Updarm, this area here. At like different times, because I'm a completionist, you guys know that uh, about me. Yes. Um, so I've just been going back to Updarm at all the different times of day and like figuring stuff out. And I really haven't been to the other places except to kill Wenji. That's the only time. Well, um, so Juliana, she's the other kind of main character in this. 
um, and she's out to hunt you. So Colt, you're playing the guy and he's trying to stop the loop. All the people in there want the loop to keep going so they can have fun every day and never die. Mm. Or they can die and then they come back the next loop. But um, you're trying to break the loop and Juliana's trying to stop you from breaking the loop. Yeah. yeah. And she, I've explained it. She pops up uh, randomly uh, if you're in an area where one of the bosses is. Oh. So if you're if you're not if you're spending a lot of time when um, the what are they called visionaries. the visionaries if there's a, not a visionary there then she won't show up. Oh okay. And I've killed like four of them. I haven't seen her. Yeah right. Well I guess it's, that's the random aspect. It's yeah. that's also where the multiplayer aspect comes into it as well. So you can um, you, when Juliana pops up that can be um, that can be another player. That's when I was scared. Right. Because I was like, I like this game because the AI is stupid. Yeah. Right. So I feel kind of safe. But if it was it's another still, player, I think it would be like infinitely you, harder for it's me. It's still pretty easy. The only trouble that you can get in with her is when you're trying to stealth a mission and she'll rock up and be like, there he is. She'll go loud. Oh. Uh, and you'll be like, well, fuck. I, I got <laughs> caught out by her once when I was uh, in, I think, the complex area. And I was surrounded by mines anyway. And I was being clever and she's like there he is and i was like fuck uh do you, when juliana invaded you do, do you know if that was another player or a human player or was that I a computer player? i have not gotten a human player yet i Probably tried a lot more people one game cult. where i went yeah. in and it was super fun mm -hmm. oh that's fun yeah you can um, you can they can pose as like a different as just yeah. like an ai right it's cool mm. um it's kind of it's a fun thing am i going to keep going uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm going to try it out a little bit more. You know, it's just a Give nice back. little... Give back. It's, it's a nice little aperitif to the main oh. the main meal. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> my main criticism with this game is the, is the ending, which I can't really talk about. Please mm. don't, because um, I'll kill you. It kind of just ends. And I, as far right. as I'm concerned... That's how life happens, baby. I get it. Thank you so much. That's so wise <laughs> of you to say. You're so fucking wise. You don't get a cutscene before the lights go out, bitch. You don't know that. It's true. You might get a little... I've heard that your maybe life, an FMV. life flashes before your eyes, doesn't it? <laughs> maybe a little that. motion cap. I think they just say that. I don't think that's real. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Were you going to say something? The story kind of just... Oh. Finishes. Whereas I was kind of, I think it had fucked with my expectations a little bit. Right. The fact that I was expecting, like, because it was a cool mystery that it set up. Mm. Yeah. And then if you aren't paying attention, if you don't read everything that happens in front of you, like word for word, I the I get the impression that you will miss out on shit. Right. I've I been have, reading. I have not been reading <laughs> much. I, I read, I've been scanning for codes. I've been reading and everything. Like, I do like half and a half. Right. Because sometimes I'm in the middle of something. I'm like, I want to get back to that. Yeah. I don't want to read this. Uh, I'm not going to go back and read it. Get fucked. So you're saying the story kind of plays out in, in that text stuff rather than... I think the story was a little bit of a wasted opportunity. I think, and, and fuck it. I mean, I understand that you've got to sort of limit your scope with these sorts of things. But I thought that it, I got the impression that it was a little bit more than just kill these people. I wanted to know the mystery a little bit more about behind it. And there is stuff that but I learned read through the logs and definitely through the sound things. Uh, but even then, I don't know. I feel like it just kind of, it just seems very abrupt. Yeah, right. Um, and that's a, that just means that I loved playing it, I guess. Leave them wanting more. Sure. <laughs> uh, always leave them wanting more. Yeah. So I would rather want more than... To be like in this fucking thing, right? <laughs> yeah, sometimes games go on. Way too I just long. really enjoyed playing it. I just, it's fun. I loved it. I like it. I had a big gun and I shot someone and, went, and I went, ho ho! And I was like, what's happening to me? <laughs> yeah. I was like, fun. yes! Right, like the, it, it really does. They've done an, a really good job. With I love running. I really like the nail gun because it's Your silent gun. Yes. and I have been. Re getting really good at headshots. Right, good. These are words that no one ever thought they'd hear me say. <laughs> but I've been having such a good time playing this game. I like how mobile the, the gunplay is. Yeah. Like it's real just fast. I'm running, I'm shooting, I'm ducking. Yeah. I'm popping out, I'm, I'm throwing people in the air and, or I'm, and then I'll, I'll blink 
away or things like that. It's it's a uh... yeah. So blinking is a thing. That's so that's um, there are you you can pick up slabs as you uh, progress. They're, they're one of the like upgrades that you can pick up. I mean, is there a reason you only look at Ben? Uh, I don't know. I'm picking up a thought that he had. Hmm. Maybe I have the most thought. Maybe. Um, you you pick up these slabs. Don't look I'm at me now. I'm <laughs> Don't start now, you piece of shit. I guess you could say I'm a free thinker. Oh, really? Yeah. Fuck you. Do the research. <laughs> I was trying. 13 hours, bro. That's a, YouTube that's a video. good effort. That's pretty good considering I only bought this game after you told me we were going to do it on the show because yeah. it's $100. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a, and I was, one? yeah. Hmm. It's expensive. <laughs> Damn. But worth it, bro. Yeah. I really I like I this game. I, I, I I'm going to finish this game, like, for sure. It's, I think it's the best AAA, like, title that i played all year. I wow. can't think of another AAA title that I have enjoyed. Not this much, just <laughs> since Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Wow. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's and a, I haven't played them all, mm. but also a lot of them don't appeal to me. It's this a really one, good game. The fucking, the, the art... Design, yeah, especially that mansion. Mm. I literally, I went into the bath, one of the bathrooms, and I took a picture of it because I've been talking to my friend Danielle about my dream bathroom. I was like, <laughs> I can't find a picture of it, and I was like, it's in this game that I'm playing. <laughs> so many bathroom. Uh, it's like green tiles. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's mid-century. Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> when's this set? Like the 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 style is like 1969. Yeah. This is I want. Yeah. I want to live. In the houses in this game, it was so beautiful. It's too. great. It's the <gasps> style adds so much to it. It's got a lot of character. So pretty. Yeah. Um, it's beautiful. It looks great. It fucking sounds great too. Like the sound, the soundtrack is so good in it. Yeah. It kind of reminds me a tiny bit of Control. Not that it gives me the same vibe, but in the way that um, it actually felt like it was taking my eyes into account instead of just like fucking grey mud ass mm -hmm. bullshit. For sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually trying to do something like interesting that looks good. Yeah, <laughs> reminded me a little bit of Thirteen because it's the sort yeah. of comic book sort of vibe. Yeah, but it's much bit. it's much nicer than that. Yeah, because it isn't it isn't going for like a cel shaded look or anything. It's Especially just, it's the just remake of Thirteen, I'm right. Yeah, that's, <laughs> oh bless you. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I know Thirteen makes. And sense. I like the writing. I don't hate the writing. I mean, it's not like the best thing in the world, but the conversations between the people, I think they're all distinct characters, yeah. and I like that they have different relationships, and that some of them are fucking annoying. I think Colt is just like a dude. He's not trying to be like a funny, quippy guy, mm. which I love. Like, yeah. he's just a guy, just being, he's just a normal guy who's like, no what the fuck? No one says in a kind of like, wry tone, well that just happened. Exactly! <laughs> it doesn't feel like someone trying to punch up a Marvel script, which I love. <laughs> yes, yeah, totally. <laughs> it's not just these kind of shit that's said like a joke, but isn't actually a joke at all. Which... Mm. Uh, <laughs> miss me? <laughs> yeah, just... Boo! No, I didn't miss you! Die! Oh, no. Die already! <laughs> um, did you play much Dishonored? No, see I didn't... That, that was what was so surprising, is I didn't really gel with Dishonored. Right. Through no Oh, uh, people are comparing reason. this to Dishonored? I've never, well, played, by the same never played it, never seen it. <laughs> It's, uh, yeah, it's made by Arcane, the same studio that did this, the Dishonored series. Mm. It wasn't, and there's a lot in common, I think, but I don't, I haven't personally played. The Blinking is basically the same. Yeah, yeah. Like, I didn't think it was a terrible game. I, thought I quite liked it, but I, it was just one of those games that you kind of like, yeah, cool, and then I just never got back to it. Same so with. So how did? Why did this hook you in then? Well, that's the thing, right? Because when you first play it, you're like, oh, what the fuck? Because <laughs> yeah. it even it, it throw, you know, it's got a lot of tutorial in there, and you still don't. Yep. Even after all these fucking tutorials, it's so long, I still was like, what? <laughs> I what had to Google a lot of like, not the plot, just how to put gun in left hand away. <laughs> right. Uh, it's, you hold down you hold down five and then you press control naturally. Um, I bound it, I bound my, that gun, my left hand gun to the, my little mouse boy. 
Uh, it made it easier. A little wow. Little there you go. Um, yeah. Yeah. The tutorial's a bitch and just you're still like left scratching your head going, I don't know about this game. And then you keep playing it. And Something happens. It, something happens. It happened to me. Yeah. I went, oh, no. Because <laughs> when I like a game, then I just play it for like 60 hours. Right. And I ruined my life for a week. <laughs> and I went, oh, no. And then that's what happened. Yesterday, I played it for like nine hours. And it was wow. so nice to be grabbed by a good single player mm. game. Yeah. I love a great uh, single player it's game. It's been ages, you know, since... A good FPS single player game is A, even really come out, but also just like grab me to. Control, probably the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Control, very good. I'm still playing through Control. You fucking can't. It's good. <laughs> what? Why take so long? I don't you know, never I, finish anything. I don't have I a lot of time for games. I need to go back to the DLC, apparently. Oh, I never played that. I like to play that. I've got it. I just need to play it. I did email the makers of the game. Yeah. Just a good game. Great, thank you so much. <laughs> and that's how we got this great story. <laughs> and I said, can I have a job? <laughs> I said, oh, you can hire me if you want. <laughs> I know you're finished, so you probably don't know what a joke is. Uh... <laughs> but like, you know, like Control, it has a clear, defined style. Art style. Mm. Games don't have to look fucking ugly, you yeah. dumb bitch. Not everything <laughs> needs to look like fucking Warzone. So I think that's a. I honestly think that is an aesthetic that, for some reason, appeals to like dudes. Mm -hmm. It's boring. That there's something that is like You've done it. Yeah, but it's anytime I see like a movie that's about war, even I just like my brain just shuts down, mm. just like blanks it out, it just becomes just a blurry space yeah. that I don't have to think about, and I can focus on other things. So I don't understand it even on that level. But even yeah, even if you like war. It's all grey and brown, and then sometimes just fluoro pink. Last yeah, yeah, yeah. they did. Yeah, they did sort of try yeah, to a little it bit of neon that. pink. <laughs> Very it's different. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's pretty. Different. This is just. This is just. It's cool, and there's really creative levels and stuff. You know what I'm talking about. It's great. It's great. Figure out. I felt a one of like the best experience, like game experiences I've had in ages was when I sort of got towards the end. And I was like, I reckon I'm ready to do my last loop. <gasps> and it was really cool. Like, it was super fun. I was like, <laughs> okay. I, I streamed a little bit of it and where I was like, I'm going to do it. And then I was like, no, wait. I'm going to finish this. There was one puzzle that was niggling at me that I had to, like, figure out. And so I just did that. But then starting that morning going, okay, so I'm going to do Wenji in the morning and then sabotage another one while I'm there and then at noon I'm going to do something else and then, you know, uh, it was fun. It was fun to schedule it out and think about it and visualize it and mm. and then going into night, knowing that sort of Alexis's party is the, the hardest level as well, um, going, all right, here we are. We got three. I, got, I managed to get three of them to this party. Oh, and, wow. Uh, it was super... Rewarding to finally, you know, kill kill Alexis. Yeah, fuck it's yeah. Great. It was sick. It was great. Very, uh, very entertaining and thrilling gaming experience. <laughs> there, Can't I believe it. it. We liked a I game. Loved it. Wow. <laughs> this is huge. Not funny, but good. <laughs> I'm not feeling very funny right. Hey, okay. you look hilarious, if that's any <laughs> consolation. I tried to. I was like, I'm going to wear this shirt like I'm a party boy. <laughs> so I heard that I might feel like a party boy. Party on the outside, funeral on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, uh, you're supposed to have the you're dead inside. You're supposed to have the wake after the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what? This is a good game. Yeah. I like gonna, uh, to yeah. play the combat. So here's what I say. I don't have a problem with combat. I have a problem with fucking boring games. <laughs> Fuck you. Here we go. We've made a breakthrough tonight. Thank you very much. We're out of time. Wow. Fuck you. That's to all the fucking nerds who make these fucking games where you <laughs> roll around in the mud. Yeah. Boring. Uh, yeah, there is something. I also like said. The Last of Us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Come on. But that was still managed to find color, and variety. And story. Yeah,、mm. the story that propelled you. So it's one of those, you know. Boy, was I propelled. Part of, part of it is that a lot of games are on annual release cycles. So like Call of Duty is、yeah. sim- similar every year because it's on an annual release cycle. You can't. Something like this takes years to、yeah. develop. Like if you really want to have a strong art style and a lot of variety in the artwork and and good character writing, and also have a good solid game with original mechanics and everything, that all takes time. It takes you know a lot of good people. Uh, a lot of time to develop, and, and this game still does reuse assets from uh, at least um, that fucking other. You one. started out so、Dishonored? strong at the yeah, start、Dishonored. of that sentence. I always forget Dishonored. <laughs> like、yeah. Dishonored is one of those games that I constantly am forgetting and then remembering. Yeah, but it's like it's like evolving like from、cult? that. Like what? Like cult in the game. I'm in a death loop except <laughs> remembering what the fuck Dishonored is. <laughs> <laughs> How thrilling! <laughs>、uh, yeah, look, look. This game good. Most other games bad. <laughs> Gaming industry, much like the world, full of losers who are untalented and focused on numbers and money, which has led to the downfall of society. I.e.,、um, YouTube's algorithm creating the new alt right,、um, which will end us all if climate change doesn't get us first. Wow! What a hot. Take. Out of tea. <laughs> I spilled it all. <laughs>、uh, I thought I would need a jumper or a jacket, but I don't need anything as I'm close to that hot tape. You just, yeah. You've got me. You've got me really wound up. I'm gonna need some of those fucking little razor things to catch all the sweat on my palm. <laughs> I've gotten riled up about、tape. capitalism. <laughs> Holy we,、uh, shit! We changed it. We fixed it. We fixed art. We fixed gaming <laughs> industry. We fixed sexism. Everything fixed because of this show. Fuck off! Suck my dick, you fucking idiots. Suck his dick. <laughs> Suck my clit. Suck Evan. Ah! I'm not sure. I shouldn't be out. <laughs> I shouldn't be out of the house. Evan, you were going to say something. Was I? Um, I Evan. What do you think about?、Uh... <laughs> I did it again. Strong start, no finish. <laughs> Death Loop is available now on PS5 and PC. It's co- it's worth it if it's too it's expensive now.、It. Wait for it, but wait for it on sale, you idiots, <laughs> and then get it. Eventually,、yeah. you should get this game. If you can't afford it now, then wait and get it later. It's, it's fun because it's fun and it's interesting. I can't believe it's good. I can't believe I like it. Not because of the game in particular, but just because of who I am. I think、mm. there's something in this game for everyone. If you don't like puzzles, you can just kind of hunt around and follow the objective. If you really like puzzles, you can turn off ob- objectives. Huh? I believe you can anyway. Probably you can just not track the. You can. Yeah. yeah, I just track all my little puzzles. That's what I do. Yeah.、Uh, so you know. I love it. There's been some talk about、uh, glitchiness on PC, of bugs and、yeah. crashes. Have you had any? I do have. I、yes. did have crashes. Okay. I didn't. Mine didn't crash. It froze a couple times, and then I like paused and then unpaused, and it was fine.、Mm. Yeah, I haven't had any issues, but I haven't. I haven't played it as much as you guys. I've ha- I've had. Yeah, you're not a real、issues. gamer. They're not、no. like.、Uh, Fuck this! This game sucks. Yeah, didn't people like review bomb it because of that? Oh, maybe. Well, it's been patched a bit this week, so yeah, it, it's、um, it's already had some stabilization sort of things slotted in. I、uh, just would love not... for the game to just like be perfect before it comes out, and that is at the cost of the people working on it.、Their、I don't care、health. if they don't sleep. I don't care if they don't see their kids.、Mm. I don't care if they die at their desks because they didn't piss. If, I just want the game to not lag. If CD Projekt Red has taught you anything,、mm. is that get the game out at all costs. And I, I want to be clear. I'm talking about the human cost. <laughs> Say a number, and I'll tell you. That's fine. I'm happy. I'm fine with that many people dying.、Mm. If I can play my, what did CD Projekt Red make? Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. Twenty seventy seven. You seen that movie Worth? No. No. Is、um, it about what are humans worth? Yes. How much money? Yes. Have you heard of the Ford Pinto? 
Is it a car? Yes. Bad news. What's it worth? How many lives? <laughs> How many lives was it worth? Why are you talking about Ford Pinto? That's the one that was fucked, right? Yeah, my dad had one. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, is this an insurance thing? Uh, they would, like, blow up. Yeah. Oh. They would explode, but... Um, they killed people. Yeah, but, but f I believe what happened was I studied this in my engineering degree because it, it was, like, the one thing we did about, like, ethics. And that guy um, ended up, they campaigned for it and ended up running for president and then lost and then... The car? No, the uh, <laughs> American dude that ran oh. for it. I feel like Americans would yeah. vote a, a car president. Anyway, they knew it was happening, but they decided mm. that um, the 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 money that they would lose recalling the car, it was easier to just let however many people die. Right. <laughs> and then they realised that actually it costs a lot in public image. Right. And that is the lesson that we learned in that class. Okay. It's Good. worse for your public image if you let a bunch of people die. And public yes. image means money. Yes. So that is why you shouldn't... You've got to factor that into your equation. Exactly. Because, I mean, it, yes, okay, good. Was it an engineering problem? No, it was about, like, teaching people how to, like, be in business. Have you ever met an engineer? Not built for that. <laughs> They're built for drinking. <laughs> hey, yeah, buddy. Um, Let's do a boat race. Back when I went to university for a brief period of time, uh huh. Uh, you could, whenever the engineers were at the TAV, it was uh, it was always a loud time. I mm. was one of them. Mm. I was in the society, the engineering society. Yeah. Basically, all they did was drink. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And chant things that um, were really misogynistic, <laughs> and we'd be like, "Ah, don't." <laughs> Our boys, no. Stop. Uh, real, real FM radio, female host. Absolutely. <laughs> <I was. laughs> You gotta do what you can to survive, you know? <laughs> no, boys, stop! Stop! No, uh, don't say boy. that I'm just a hole! Oh no! Stop it! Don't uh, call no. me a whale! Boys! <laughs> don't! Oh, no. That's all for this week. Before Why? we go, we have a Patreon question. <laughs> so sorry. This oh. week's question uh, was from Katrina. Uh, this week's question was from Katrina. Chris Everdeen. What? I don't know. You're just having a hard time with it. Uh, what is your favourite game soundtrack? Easy. Boom. Out of Wild. Been learning some of the songs on ukulele and piano recently. Wow. I like to put it on and then I think about life and death. Hmm. Yeah, I would say the Out of Wilds is a good life and death uh, type, type vibe for sure. Uh, Bioshock. I remember being one of the yeah. first ones that I was like... I'm going to listen. Uh, this is sick. That violin riff at the start. So good. I don't know it. Also, it's got a great, like, couple of license tracks in there. The uh, Bobby Darren and shit like that. Uh, it's a great one. Very atmospheric. Great strings. Beautiful. I mean, Bioshock as a whole was one of the first games that I was like, holy shit, we've done it. <laughs> This has changed every fucking thing. You know what I mean? Like, Music or just the game? Just the game in, in general. We've done it. We did it. <laughs> we did it, boys. I remember playing in my fucking Xbox 360 and I was just like, we fucking gaming. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking sick. This game rules. This is uh, gaming. Another great one is RDR and RDR 2. Red Dead Redemption. Sorry. No I dice like for me. Really? Country shit? Yeah, I like country shit. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Also, the OST, like the atmospheric music, is also right. great. Yeah, that did have a lot of uh, great atmosphere to it. Yeah. You know, actually, when I'm concentrating in uni, when I would study, and also now when I'm like writing, I play video game soundtracks. Mm. Um, one that I like, if I'm feeling quirky, uh, is Goat Simulator. Have you played? Have you listened <laughs> to the soundtrack of that? Isn't that bonkers? Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking weird. Um, but also, I like to listen to, like, remixes of... There's an album called Zelda and Chill. Oh, uh, yeah. Which is, like, yes. lo-fi remixes of Zelda songs. Because mm. Zelda songs, I mean, they're amazing. Yeah. I remember I would... Uh, one of the first video game soundtracks that I recorded myself, I managed to get it, pop it into my little Game Boy and record it onto a, di onto a tape, was Kirby. 
Oh yeah. I, I recorded the Kirby to like that. Aww. One it fucking rocked. I so I could listen to it more. I mean like. Aww, it's yeah, adorable. Cool. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> 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 Quake had a great soundtrack by Nine Inch Nails. Yeah, Quake did. Yeah, yeah. Um, Nine Inch Nails. Tilo yeah. and Tilo Two, Gustavo Santuala. What? The Last of Us. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, Life is Strange had some good music. Nah. No? Yes. No, because I remember those scenes where you would just be sitting there and it would play a song. Yeah. Oh, start was- to finish, and it was just like atmosphere. I no, the it was the atmosphere. It was a real song by like fucking Phoenix or something. But- yeah, it was. I think Made me appreciate those like weak ass, folksy music mm. that I would normally never touch. Yeah, it's interesting. I uh, yes, it's interesting that games will have Let's me listening to and appreciate music that I would normally would not listen to. Yeah. No, no, no folk. Oh. <laughs> of, of of mice and monsters or whatever. Of mice. <laughs> Of mice and whatever the fuck off, cunt. Or Mumford and suck my Mumford dick. Suck, <laughs> fucking suck off. <laughs> Get a fucking um, blue cunt. Fleet fuck off. How about that? <laughs> I was so pissed off after watching that. Uh, we all agree. What was that folk, <laughs> what was that folk uh, movie with? Uh, Glitter. No, no, no. That, uh, the that was a really there. funny joke for the gay no, Twitch um, chat. M- um, uh... <laughs> What are you talking about? Um, the, uh, <laughs> Star is born. No, no. Uh, Coen Brothers, folk. George Clooney. Coen uh, Brothers. Ballad of. Uh, what do the Coen Brothers do? Brother, where are they? No. No, brother, where are they? No. I said folk. No. Omnipresent brother, voice. Brother, where are they? Is like bl- bluesy. No, it's got Star Wars man in it. Star Wars pilot man. Dreamboat. Oh. oh no. What? Hang on, what? You're not talking about Harrison Ford? No, new Star Wars pilot, man. Is it the sad film about the... Is that Llewellyn? Yeah, Llewellyn Davis. Ballad of Llewellyn Davis. What the fuck are you talking about? Ballad of Llewellyn Davis. I loved it. I loved that movie. Why are we talking about that? It's very depressing. Yeah, well, there's... Why are we talking about that? Uh, How did we get here? It's got music I'm getting in it. With music. Oh. Okay, I'm getting to Folk that. music. Llewellyn Davis. I watched it. I loved it, even though it made me sad because there's some there's a lot of parallels between that and stand up comedy. Yeah, it's about an artist trying to yeah, trying yeah. to make it big and And, and I saw myself in him a lot. No, <laughs> but hey. I loved the music until I figured out that It was folk? It was done by Mumford oh. and Son. Oh right. That's by so one sad of the Mumfords. And I was like one of the oh, mum- wait was it a Mumford or the Sons? <laughs> I don't know whether it was the Mumford or the fu- or the Son. Could have been one of the Sons. It doesn't matter. The- as long as it's from the Mumford family, it's tainted. <laughs> uh... you know, the Mumfords are actually related to the Hansons. What? Are you being real with me right now? Are you fucking no, of course I'm not being real. Don't ever do that again. Okay? <laughs> you both believed it. Well, sorry. what do you want? What uh, are we supposed to do? The the. <laughs> Uh, my, my favourite part Your of that song. Your head's tilted like I'd said, go for a walk and you're both my dogs. That's what that looks like. You were like, what? My favourite part of that film Trip. is the, uh, the, the song that he does. Yeah. With Kylo Ren. I love that about movies, about music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're talking about Llewellyn Davis. Or Lewis yes, Davis. yes, yeah. He does it with Kylo Ren, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. Adam Driver. Yes. Is that who you were talking about? No, no. the other one. What's yeah, the other one's the name? Another Dreamboat. What's the other one's name? Love Adam Driver. Uh, Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac. Oh, come on. What's his Star Wars name? Uh, Oscar Isaac. Poe. Poe. Poe and Kylo do the... God is such a nerd. I didn't... I didn't pick God to be such a nerd. The disembodied voice All in the, the sky. Uh oh, uh, that's good. Hey, Mr. President. Anyway. Yeah. Not with your country folks and shit. Shut up about it. Um, country is all right. Boo. Sorry, I just hate it. That's all right. Johnny Cash? What is it? Hey, no, he's Mr. all right. Kennedy. Oh, I don't want to go. Dick. Exception to the rule. That's, uh, fucking, that's fucking country one, and folk and two. rock and it's all funnels in the same thing. Funnels. Okay. It's like that Nine Inch Nails cover Dolly he does. Parton. 
We've come like full Pirate? circle. What nose nails cover? Not really. What are you talking about? Oh my god. Hurt? Or Johnny Cash? Yes. Good song. Good song. Good cover. Uh, we're being. So, we're. It sounds like we're arguing. <laughs> <laughs> we're, <not. laughs> we're just like agreeing real hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck you, that's true. <laughs> Fuck you, that's also true. Yes. Not absolutely I agree with that. This is no, what happens stop right when... now. Stop. Stop. Whatever you're saying is correct and I agree with that one, right? 100% percent i I was going to say this is what happened when when Ben texts me 3 hours ago saying, "Hey, do you have any Vivants? I'm out." <laughs> I can't believe you would say that. That's 100% correct. <laughs> If you said I was out, I needed. I just, I just forgot to take a little. A bump. Just a little. Sometimes bump. you need a little bump. If you have a question you'd like us to clock. answer on the show, uh, jump on the uh, what is it? The b b uh, the, the <laughs> backstage pass Patreon. Shouldn't be here. Yeah. It's no, late. A lot of edit editing today. We're in lockdown. Evan is not going to be doing his Twitch stream on Sunday because he will be editing this weird vibe. Now he'll have to edit this out as well. Great. No, yeah. we'll keep this in. Hello. No, just this part of him saying hey, we're not going to be streaming hey, on yesterday. Sunday. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Evan. Guess, guess what I'm doing right now? Probably nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping. Um, uh, hey, we have to thank our top patrons. Oh my god, we do. Oh my god. Um, big thanks to Adam Donoghue, Adam Jan Batista, Adrian Hernandez Arista, Alice, Amy G, Belisaru, Ben Zombie, Ben Hanneken, Blonde Matthew, Bootscoot and Putin, Cameron Fullwood, Rupert the Dog, Shamath Widgeratney, Chandler the Bakerman, Christian Nordheim, Christian Sanchez! We're back. <laughs> Cypher DH, Connor and Alexandria Maligan, Dan Fox, David Bourne, uh, Burn? Born. It is born, isn't it? Um, Decay, Dixie Dean 17, Drew Pisner, Drew Schuller. Mm. Eddie McCullen O'Hay. What do you think, Ben? What? This is an Irish that's name. That's O'Hay? I think that's O'Hay. Oh, if it's Eddie? Gaelic, just. Oh, man, why you are you can't. asking me about Gaelic? No, I think it's Irish. Aren't they the same thing? I don't know. Well, it's not. It's it's Irish. Irish is a separate thing. You don't know about Irish? It's Gaelic. I know about Irish. Do you know? Is this anything to you? What? No, I don't you know. Can't. I, I don't know what that oh, is. I don't know. You, you did an Irish I just, the, the I just know that they word. spell Siobhan. 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 That's it. That's as far as I go. I and think then I say, thank you very much. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's Eddie McCullen O'Hay. Uh, Aaron Yet Kindler, Greg Middleton. Look at all these normal names. Sorry, that was a mean thing to say. Oh, that is brutal. <laughs> get that out. Irish racism <laughs> makes a comeback. <laughs> Yeah, well. We uh, thought this the, was coming. The 1900s called. <laughs> <laughs> We've decided to leave the Irish alone, okay? Yeah, yeah. Pick a different race. <laughs> Jemitar, Lachlan Chapman, Michael Flaherty, Money Man Sam. <laughs> I can't say Flaherty right. What is Flaherty. that? Flaherty. Flaherty. Is that Irish? Flaherty. 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 He's Flaherty. had enough of the whole fucking... <laughs> That whole thing up there they got going on. <laughs> Why are you asking me how to pronounce fucking Irish names? Like, because you've done Irish characters and you're very it good at the It doesn't matter! <laughs> 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 I'm not Irish! <laughs> He's a fucking Texan cunt. I'm a fucking American, god dang it. Uh, These colors don't run. <laughs> Evan, please! Trash Chanda, Robisaur, oh. Robbie Proctor, Scott Chapman. I've been doing a southern accent all day. Don't do that. Shabab Hader, Sean Prague, wow. Stephen Burke, Zach Steinbacker, Jen B, Andre Agnew, Austin Davis, Billy Lemur? Le Lemur? Lemur? Look, yeah. if your name is European, <laughs> we will not respect it. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm try, trying to um, get it right. Chris Howe, Aaron de Villiers, Evan S. Darling, Frude Bodka, Frode, Frode, Bodka, Bodka, uh, exotic. I don't know why there's exotic at the end of that. Uh, Greg Larson's a tight, sexy asshole. Mm. Harry E. <laughs> Joseph Taylor, You've Lupiro. never met an asshole so, tight, so sexy like Greg Larson. <laughs> Nick Figueroa, Scott Boy in the Wall, McEachin, Chic Mozart, Shitwind. Shitwind. Siraj Pires. This is Lupiro's wife. I don't think so. X said Neil and Jacob Stevenson. You'll become Deathloop Hero's <laughs> wife. 
Yeah. It's good. Mash up. It's very good. Um, if you want to hear your name read out on the show, uh, you could you could give me a pronunciation guide, and that would uh, definitely give me a bit more confidence. Look it up, can't. Or I try. And you should we? I. Uh, or you can send five dollars to Naomi's PayPal. That's right. Is it that cheap? Read your name. Well, it was fifteen. I've what? taken it down. Don't let him shortchange you. You've taken it down. <laughs> I'll look it up. He's your pimp. I just thought about how much it would be worth. You know. Did you hear that? I did. <laughs> He's your pimp. <laughs> that was almost as bad as when you were out of the room before and he said pussy. That was... <laughs> Let's... Uh, <laughs> if you want to hear your name right on the show, jump on the close personal friend Patreon tier. Uh, some great benefits to signing up. You get episodes early, like 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 12 hours, 14 you know, hours early. Mm-hmm. Um, you get to join us on the Discord, which is a bit of fun. There's a bunch of people on there. It's a nice little yeah. community. Um, you get the cheat sheets that we have here. Um... You can also send in questions and vote for questions. And, and at the end of the season, we send you one of these pixels in the mail. <laughs> it's a lot of pixels there. Um, still, I don't think we should do that. Those pixels are worth a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Man. So sign up. Yeah. Bloody ridiculous. <laughs> there he is. Um, and for $5 more, you get, get a, a, off. You get a mug. <laughs> we just put in an order for more mugs. Excited to get those. Um, we we'll just keep running out. How's that happen? We gotta send them to people. Oh, Smash them all. <laughs> I go into the storeroom <laughs> and I just let loose. It could be that. I don't actually keep track. Very I good got track a lot of, of pent up emotions. And you need mugs. I'm like a bull it. in a china shop. All right. <laughs> don't don't start that. <laughs> I know where you're going. I need you to reverse. <laughs> <laughs> um, sign up at <laughs> Patreon.com/slash <laughs> Gaming Game. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to remind myself right now just because I remembered you don't have the extra eye in your Twitch thing anymore, do you? No, I don't. Really? Right, I'm going to have to take one that eye. out of your graphic. So your non-sposity, one eye. Yeah, matches my other handle. How come? Because the you only reason I had two eyes was because my username was taken. No, it's not taken anymore. Well. It is by you. I took it, didn't Great. I? Who'd you kill? Doesn't matter, they don't exist anymore. My name's Ben. And uh, sometimes I get sad, but sometimes I get happy. And it all kind of ends up- Shut up! <laughs> Fucking hell with this, I'm so sorry. All uh, the time. <laughs> My God. Ugh! Just stop. No one cares. This is toxic masculinity. <laughs> this little, little thing right here, this is the source. We found the queen. We found the nest of toxic masculinity right here. If you got rid of me, crime rates would drop by 98%. If you... Try it. Fucking try it. And suicide rates. (laughs) (laughs) If you enjoy the show, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, share it around. Uh, Remember, you can podcast podcast the show. Just search for us on uh, your podcast app of choice. Plus, we have a subreddit now. That's exciting news. Wow. have been there for a while. And anyone can have a subreddit. That's true. Yeah, I know. I can make a subreddit. I bet there's a subreddit for beans. That would be a huge subreddit. I'm going to fucking follow beans right now. Um, it's like, it's gamergame.reddit.com, I think is what it is. Um, no way to know. Follow Naomi on Twitch, Nomstrosity. Follow Ben on oh, Twitch. I'm Twitch's best kid. One member. <laughs> On member. If you guys want to know Twitch's best, uh, yeah, yeah, that's Twitch. It's telling me a secret. It says on member. <laughs> I'm Twitch's best kept secret. You stupid idiot. And I usually go for the marketing strategy of people knowing who I am. So uh, that's how we differ. Eleven thousand nine hundred ninety-eight members on Beans. <laughs> Told ya. Yeah, and they're just different. talking about Beans. Yeah, just talking about <laughs> Beans. Okay. Yeah. I love Beans. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> Hate him. Um, you gotta get in there. You gotta get in that convo. <laughs> you gotta get in there. Conversation. Do you guys have anything else you want to apply? Anything else going on? You need to uh, do yourself a favor so. and follow the Beans subreddit. <laughs> oh, I'm <That's> Beans. <laughs> I'm doing um a thing on Dragon Friends. Oh yeah. I'm in the middle of a thing at the moment. Um, little, little a campaign. Is that what? Is that what That's it what they're called. 
Still don't know how to play Dungeons and Dragons, to be honest, but that's Wednesday nights on Twitch. And I am trying to eat right and do a little bit of exercise every day. How's that going? Oh, that's good. Some days good, some days bad. Yeah, oh, okay. I had much the same experience. Um, uh, that's it. That's the end of the show. Wow. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Uh, really bottomed out. <laughs> uh, we will. Uh, Don't forget to stay inside because there's a deadly virus to get you. <laughs> That's true. Thanks very much. Good night. We are still in lockdown. The we will be back uh, next week at seven. Yes. Is that maybe? And maybe maybe we'll bring a maybe we'll be, should be able to get a, another guest on as well. I might on the have screen. something on. Maybe. Might have something on. Doubt it. You have a, a little, little bit of foam. A little bit of your mustache. That's what he's Other got side. on. It's <laughs> a little bit of extra flavor. Other side. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. I'm going I'm to sip on that later. Is that the pedophile from Family Guy? <laughs> <laughs> and that's all we have time for. Uh, <laughs> see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. And then the screens just go black. Yeah. <laughs>